Welcome, Mr. and Mrs. Apple Biteys. Yep, that's what you guys are, Apple Biteys, all right. And I am the Apple Bite, Rafael Tavares, here to, talking to you at our new episode, episode three of The Written Writ, where we use writer's prompts to help us on our journey to become better writers. Of course, both know what a writer's prompt is. A writer's prompt is a phrase or a word or something that gets us writing. Now, I'm going to start this week a little differently. Somebody has asked me why it is that I keep saying to have fun with the writing, or I guess I guess repeating myself over and over and over. Well, the reason is is that you don't want it to become a chore. You don't want to become um, you don't want it to become something that you have to do, something that you feel negative negativity towards. Um, because as soon as you start feeling this negativity towards your writing, you're not going to want to do it. You're not going to want to. Um, get creative. You're not going to want to enjoy yourself, um, which isn't really important because when you're writing, you're writing from your soul. You're releasing what you have inside with your creativity. It's like a spiritual experience. That which is in within the soul comes out and releases through your paper, through your computer, through whatever it is you're using. Now, I was in one of these states for a long time. My BFF, Kadma, decided to try to help me out. She got she got she tried to get me to start writing. She tried to get me to do a bunch of different things. What she did though was she gave me a couple of gifts. I'll show you. Ah, by the way, welcome to my layer. Yes, this is the writer's layer where I do some of my writing. Not really, but hey, let's go with it. Ah, as you can see right here, the writer's toolbox is one of the things that she gave me to start writing. It has a little thing, a little knickknacks, a little stuff inside that helps you start writing and helps you get creative. Or, like this little book she gave me over here, 642 things to write about. See, and the whole thing is to get out there and start writing. Another little thing that me and her used to do was we would um just throw things out there and just start writing or just start talking sometimes talking leads to writing because you wanted to get the talk and uh, get your story going get it going get it um, flowing All right so that's um, why I keep saying that it's important to have fun with the writing because you don't want it to become a chore all right now our writers prompt for this week is it's not wise to let someone like that know your name it's not wise to let someone like that know your name. It's an interesting little phrase. I picked this phrase because a friend of mine was on the train and she'd heard somebody tell this to somebody else. And in my mind, things started percolating. And I was like, hmm, this sounds really interesting. Of course, I came through it with a mythological point of view. You don't have to come across through, through that mythological point of view. Um, but it, it's where I was going. Of course, I was feeling really mischievous. Aha, mischievous. When I was thinking about this writer's prompt, and that became the word of the week, mischievous. Now, we both know that being mischievous means we're up to something. We're doing little things. We're playing practical jokes. We're having a little fun. We're being me, mischievous. <laughs> anyway. Um, so that is the writer's prompt. It's not wise to let someone like that know your name. And the word of the week is mischievous. Of course, if you want to see what I'm doing with all this, you can go to my page on Tumblr, dranixtumblr.com, and you can see what I've done. You can get me feedback. We can go back and forth. You can show me what you've done. You can send me stuff. You can um, add it on your Tumblr. We can go check it out. We can have some fun with it. You know, that's what we should do. Now, ah, that's right. Uh, I almost forgot. If you like the show and you want to know what's going on, please press that little red button on the bottom that says subscribe. Ah, here's the fun part. If we get to a hundred, well, for every hundred subscribers we get to, we're going to do a music video here at the Upbitten Apple TV. <laughs> so, yes, we're going to do a music video for every hundred subscribers we get.
excuse me, I got something stuck in my throat there. I think it was a frog, ribbit, ribbit. <clears throat> anyway, yes, for every 100 subscribers we get, we're going to do a, a video, a music video. And guess what? Uh, if you go on our Twitter page, you can um, pick which song it is that we're going to be doing. Of course, we'll give you a couple of options on the song you want to pick. All right, so now you got it. So subscribe, hit that button, get us to 100, and we do a music video. Get us to another 100, we do another music video. Hey becomes a trend if we do something <laughs> anyway all right so let's get to writing let's go back and forth here now remember ah, I put this board back here so you guys can see it it's not wise to let someone like that know your name the word of the week is mysterious of course granixtumbrella.com that's the place to go oh I think I hit the computer ah well oh I, uh, all right guys that's episode three. Tune in next week for episode four, The Ralph Returns, or whatever it's going to be called. And make sure you have some fun with your writing, like I had some fun with this video. <laughs> you guys have a great day.